hopefully my Yeti microphone is being picked up and not my crappy webcam mic, but if it is, I'm sorry. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, here's your host with the most aim-free LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that TCG Premier like and subscribe button as we climb even higher, the 1300 ladder with the dying world with Ashen, aka another name that I'm going to call him once we get through the first minute of the video. <laughs> ha! So, yeah, this is the TCG exclusive archetype. They're basically all extenders from what I've been told. I've read a couple of these, but we're just going to go through all of them. So, this is Vidos, the Eruption Dragon of Extinction. Level 9 Dark Pyro Effect Monster, 2800 Attack, 1500 Defense. During the main phase, if this card is in your hand, Quickie, you can target one card in a field zone. Hello. Special summon this card to your opponent's field, and if you do, pop that card. Then you can add to your hand or set one Ashened. Continuous Trap from your deck. If this card is set from your opponent's field to your graveyard, you can destroy all monsters on the field. You can only use each effect of your Eruption Dragon once per turn. Oh, okay, good. I'm past the one-minute mark. Uh, we're calling these things Ass End. Uh, I don't care. <laughs> these are the Ass End archetype. <laughs> anyway, ignore my crappy little 12-year-old mind. King of the Ass End City. I love it. Level 8 Dark Pyro Effect Monster, 14 air attack, 27 air defense, and he's got a fat ass. That's nice. If Obsidian the Ass End City is in the field zone, that's the field spell, you could special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon King of the Ass End once per turn this way. During your main phase, you could special summon one Ass End monster from your hand, except King, or if your opponent controls a monster with 2800 or more attack, aka the big boy dragon here, uh, you can special summon it from your deck instead. You can only use this effective ass end once per turn. So, really interesting. You basically just give your opponent this big dragon, and then you gain extra effects, even from the field spell, too, that I've already read, uh, along with your other monsters. That's really cool, like how... Oh, yeah, like, literally, all these things are extenders, which is really cool. And if you really want to be a cheese, uh, this will probably put you at table 500, but you could play Overseal <laughs> to get the Dragon of Extinction back. Because Owner Seal says return all monsters to their original owners. So you can activate Owner Seal after giving them this dragon and you just take it back. Same thing like you give your opponent a kaiju. It's really garbage. Don't do that. But I mean, you can thrust for Owner Seal. So, you know, you do with with what info. You do with that info with what you want, Sugar Boo Bear, if I could talk tonight. Hero of the Ass End City. Level 7 Dark Pyro Effect Monster. 2600 attack, 2100 defense. Keep in mind all these things are Pyro. If Obsidium is in the field zone. You can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon hero once per turn this way. During the main phase, Quickie, you can target one Pyro monster on the field. So either field, destroy it. Then if you destroyed uh, the Eruption Dragon by this effect, you can place one of the Obsidium, so the field spell, from your deck face up in your field zone. You can only use this effective hero once per turn. Really interesting. It's almost like the Eruption Dragon kind of acts like an Ibli. That you can just, I think you can just drop it out, right? Yeah, during the main phase, this card's in your hand. You could target one card in a field zone. Eh, special summon this card to your opponent's field and you just show that card. So, I mean, like, it's an out to Fire King Island, I guess. But, I mean, that's also not terrible because even though that's kind of awkward, what meta deck in Yu Gi Oh! in 2024 doesn't have a field spell? Like, this is why I've been calling for terraforming to get banned because you're essentially giving every single deck in the game four copies of its field spell, you know? So, uh, there should never, like, not be a field spell up. Like, even Dragon Link has Dragon Ravine, if you think about it. Um, so let's see. So that was the hero. Now we're at the Priestess. So if Obsidium is in the field zone, uh, excuse me, level 4 Dark Pyro Effect Monster, 12 Iron Attack, 13 Iron Defense. Sorry. <laughs> if Obsidium is in the field zone, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only special summon Priestess of the Ass End once per turn this way. Yes, I threw that in on purpose. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one Ass End card from your deck to your hand. This thing's a Stratos for the Ass, except Priestess. You can only use this effect of Priestess once per turn. I mean, that's good. I mean, any deck that has a Stratos is pretty good. Look at Centurion. Like, Primera is a good card. Obsidium, the Ass End City. Field spell. Face up special summon monsters your opponent controls. Become Pyro during your turn only. I got really scared when I first read that because I thought I was going to say face up special summon monsters your opponent controls can't attack or activate their effects. I'm like, oh no, it's Mystic Mind 2.0. You can only use each of the following effects of Obsidium once per turn. During your end phase, you can target one Ash and City in your graveyard. Place it on the bottom of your deck, then draw one card. If this card in the field zone is destroyed or banished, you can special summon one Ass End monster from your deck. That's, uh, that's pretty good, quite honestly. 
Awakening of Vetoes, quick play spell. Place uh, Obsidium from your deck, so the field spell, face up in either field zone. Then if your opponent controls a card in their field zone, you can add one level 5 or higher Dark Pyro Monster from your deck to your hand. So any level 5 or higher, so you can just get the dragon straight to your hand. Uh, for the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, you cannot special summon from the deck or extra deck except Pyro Monsters. You can only activate one videos per turn. So actually, you just play this. You put the Obsidium in the field zone, and then you can add the the Extinction Dragon to your hand, and then you can just start making plays. So this is like a one-card set up your board. That's pretty good. I mean, you can get drilled to hell and back, but you can also get drilled on Bonfire, so it's kind of like whatever. Ass End for Eternity. Ha! <laughs> Continuous Trap. When this card's activated, you can add Venitos, Dragon of Extinction, or one Ashen Monster from your grave to your hand. You can target one face-up monster your opponent controls that you own. Take control of that monster, then you can make all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls. Lose attack equal to the targeted monster's original attack. This attack changes last until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Ashen once per turn. You can only activate one Eternity per turn. Eh, the trap's kind of whatever. I feel like that this is going to be a good sub-engine in, like, any Pyro deck. Like, I think Fire Kings just get strictly better. Um... Or even just, like, Snake Eyes. Like, you definitely play Snake Eyes in this. Like, no joke. Um, this seems really good. Also, side note, I meant to say this at the beginning of the video. I'm sorry about all the crappy little ads on here. Why Organization is a horrible website, honestly. Um, but this is going to be a very interesting sub-engine. Are you going to play it as a straight deck? No, probably not. Um, the Dragon of Extinction seems really good. And the fact that, like, King and Priestess, like, Priestess is a searcher, Heroes and Extender, like, they're all Extenders. They really remind me of Burning Abyss in that sense. So, I'm very interested to see how well this deck will do, like, with, you know, Populous and all that in the meta. And I th was Populous confirmed to be an Ultra? I think. I could be wrong. I'm sure it's going to be a secret. But, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about the Ass and Archetype. I'm going to love reading the comments on this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.